All right, well, what another perfect day for SoCal Safari. Here we are out in the, just off of the Dana Point Harbor here, floating along the Pacific Coast with Erin O'Malley and your crew right here. Erin, what is the name of your company? Uh, sunset Stand Up Paddle. All right, perfect name for this organization. And you actually uh, have taken some sunset yoga uh, classes, haven't you? Yeah, that's one of our specialties as long as the conditions are conducive because it's nice and uh, crimson and glassy, so it makes for a beautiful right. backdrop. How did you discover doing this uh, as a teacher? Um, I kind of happened upon it uh, when I moved back here from Massachusetts and uh, was a yoga teacher and happened actually to be on my dad's boat at the time and thought, man, it'd be so cool to kind of combine yoga and stand-up paddle together. And at that time, it was kind of um, spontaneously happening across the, the world, actually. And so it brings a whole new level of yoga, obviously. It's not just the actual poses, but there's the balance. It, does that add a lot more to it? Yeah, it, it adds a bigger level of challenge, obviously. It, it levels the playing field for yogis. Even the most experienced yogis can come out and really struggle with the balance, but that's essentially what makes it so fun and lighthearted is that worst case scenario, you take a little dive into the water and jump back up and everything's all good. Uh, uh, the warrior pose, a uh, piece of cake, I can do that all day long. On a pedal board? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a much different dynamic because you have this essentially balanced board that you um, have to kind of navigate and make sure that your balance is always even, otherwise you're, it's going to tip and you're going to be wet. <laughs> exactly, right, right. Went to the water, it's super wet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got it! Yes! <laughs> what other kinds of things do you face out here? Um, you know, you never lost students to uh, orca whales. <laughs> Only two, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> You brought some of your friends into this, and uh, Massachusetts, uh, there is a Massachusetts connection here, right? This is Stephanie, and you're from uh, Massachusetts? Yeah, I'm originally from Massachusetts, but I live actually here on the coast in Laguna Beach as well. You don't have a lot of experience in this, right? And stand-up yoga, not so much, but and stand-up or paddling or outrigger paddling, that is uh, actually a large part of my background. Right, very cool. Andrew, you're from Massachusetts, right? Or you're from all around back east, right? Yeah, pretty much. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, originally from uh, Massachusetts okay. and uh, a little bit of upstate New York, too. Okay. Uh, and uh, you're new to this uh, stand-up paddle yoga, right? Yeah, completely new. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but You got conned of, into it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, having a great time with yeah. it. And Christy, you're uh, quite an athlete. You do some other you do CrossFit with Aaron, right? I do CrossFit with Aaron, uh, and mainly. you're very competitive between the two of you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, didn't you just say you kicked her butt last week? I thought, uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. But uh, what else do you do? Uh, CrossFit's my main sport, mm -hmm. but I like to do pretty much anything uh, challenging from Somebody skiing says, you want to do it? You say, yeah, let's go. Let's pretty go much, it. yep. <laughs> So whether or not you're watching this show anywhere across the country, if you're coming out here and visiting, uh, check it out. Make this part of your uh, trip out here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And if you want to do a combination of SEP yoga and whale watching, then you can definitely hit up my dad, um, who is in the yacht brokerage oh, yeah. uh, world. Um, uh, then finally, oh my God, since we're giving all these plugs out, how oh, dare I, uh, you're wearing this fabulous uh, sport kini. Oh, yes. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm from Don't Blinker. flash the audience here, and we've <laughs> talked about this before. It's going to be edited out, for sure. Uh, sport now, why is sport kini as opposed to a regular bikini? Well, I firmly believe you can do anything if you have the right swimsuit on. It comes from uh, the mindset of, I don't like it when things don't work, so therefore, there you go. make right. it right. <laughs> now, uh, Drew's wearing one underneath here just because yeah. he likes the feel of it. Where would you find, where would everybody else find a Sporkini? It's at sporkini.com. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. Awesome. Very good. We had a blast. Thanks for taking us Thank out. Thank you. All right. Thank Cheers. You.